Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to AM Yoga Moves. My name is Anne Marie, and um, today's class is going to be a Hatha class. Um, and uh, if you have some blocks, I suggest that you just keep them beside your mat. And if you don't have blocks, well, I highly suggest that you you buy some. They're very cheap on Amazon. You can get them for like eight dollars, and they're very useful. Uh, in the practice, especially if you're intending on taking class quite regularly from home. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's, let's get on our mats, everybody, and let's get this started. So today we're going to start the class in a standing position. So about one feet distance from the top of your mat. You can just rest your blocks here in front of you like I've done so, so that they're handy whenever we need them. Bring your feet together, big toe knuckles touching. If it's more comfortable for you, you can just spread the heels about one inch in the back. Make sure that your, the weight is distributed equally throughout the feet. Toes nice and extended, but relaxed. <clears throat> and let's just talk about the general alignment first in the standing posture, which is fundamental. So make sure that your hips are in line with your ankles and then you're just you're lifting through the quadriceps here and also your thighs are doing like an internal rotation okay I don't know if that's makes sense so you're contracting but inwardly each thigh towards each other but then you don't want to lose your back here and your bum so you want to make sure that you're rotating slightly your pelvis forward so that your tailbone is pointing directly downwards navel towards the spine lifting through the chest and then just roll your shoulders back keep the arms nice and soft on each side of the body chin towards the chest so that you're extending the cervical spine as much as possible and let's start by just closing the eyes and as you close your eyes you may notice that finding your balance is slightly more challenging so just find that center. Explore that sensation. Now draw your attention in the body. And just take a second to, to scan, to note, are there any areas that are particularly tense <clears throat> either physically or emotionally and without any judgment it's just to to really get a good feel of of where we're at so throughout the practice respect what you're feeling and you want to go with the flow of what you're feeling not against it's not a fighting it's just moving with the movement with the breath. So still with the eyes closed, start by exhaling all the air in your lungs. Exhale completely, completely, completely. And now take a deep inhale through the nose for one, two, three, four. Hold at the top. And through the nose, exhale for four, three, two, one and hold for a second there as well at the exhale repeat inhale through the nose fill the lungs stop at the top and again exhale for four three two one two more times inhale completely fill the lungs to full capacity once you're at the top, hold for a second and exhale through the nose, completely drawing the navel towards the spine as you exhale, exhale, completely all the air in the lungs. And one last time, let's inhale completely, deeply through the nose, expanding the lungs, hold at the top and exhale for four. Three, two, and 
and one. Now gently open the eyes. You can just start by looking in the floor or just straight ahead. And let's start with a basic sun salutation. We're gonna do a few of those just to warm up the body. So pay attention to your alignment here in standing position. Exhale the air through the nose. And then just start lifting the arms to each side as you inhale through the nose. Stretch the arms up, palms touching, look towards your thumbs. And now exhale, bend the body from the hips, stretching the arms in either direction. Keep the back straight. If you can't, just bend your knees. Bring the hands on the ground. Just bring gently your forehead towards your knees. We're just warming up, so take your time here. Inhale into a flat back, shoulders up, navel towards the spine. Exhale, plant the hands on each side of the feet and go back into plank position. So let's just stay here for a second, exploring plank position. So your weight should be distributed not only in the base of the wrist, but also in the metatarsus and even the tips of the fingers. Your shoulders should be directly above your wrists and you're sort of pushing upward in order to separate the shoulder blades from one another. Navel towards the spine, so you're bringing your pelvis really forward so you're making a nice straight line from your shoulders all the way to your ankles and you're pushing backwards towards the heels keeping the thighs engaged. Now take a nice inhale here and as you exhale let's bend the elbows. We're going all the way down here so we're bending forward as you've noticed bringing the chest down first on the mat the tops of the feet on the mat and as you take an inhale cobra. So keep the pelvis on the ground, shoulders and elbows down, and look up to the sky. Now exhale, tuck the toes. You can just go through the knees for this first series, and then lift the hips up to your first downward facing dog. Take a nice inhale through the nose here, and exhale. So your feet are hip width parallel to one another. Your thighs should be contracted here. Now, the one thing you need to consider is that if you're, you feel like you're, you're rounding the back, I prefer that you have a straight back and that you bend your knees like so. Once your back is straight, you feel like your back is straight, then you can start <coughs> extending the legs. So you're pushing your tailbone toward the sky, basically. Suck the navel in. You can look towards your navel, but make sure that your ears stay in line with your biceps. And again, we're rolling the shoulder blades outward from one another here. So it's like as if you wanna turn your armpits towards your face. Arms fully extended and pressing all 10 fingers into the mat. So from here, take a deep inhale and just start walking your feet all the way forward. Between your hands, feet together. Inhale into a flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, hands on each side of the feet, forehead to the knees. Inhale, let's come all the way up. The chest leading the movement. Extend the arms on either side of the body. Palms together, look up, exhale, bring the hands down in Namaskara, and then to each side of the body. <clears throat> Excellent. Let's repeat this. Inhale, stretch the arms up to the sides, all the way to the sky, palm together, look towards your thumbs. Exhale, bend from the hips, again stretching the arms on either side, hands to the ground, forehead to the knees. Inhale chest up, body not parallel to the floor, exhale, plant the hands, and step back into plank, maybe switching the, foot set, the feet out this time. Inhale here, exhale, bend the elbows. They should touch each side of the body, go down gently, chest on the mat first, tops of the feet on the mat, inhale into a cobra. Shoulders down, elbows down. Exhale, tuck the toes, Lift the hips up and let's meet in downward facing dog. So let's take five deep inhales and exhales here, five breaths. 
And while you do so, let's scan the body. So let's start from the hands now. Their hands are supposed to be a little bit wider than your shoulders. Fingers spread apart. All the weight distributed equal into the fingers. Arms extended, rolling the shoulder blades out. Ears with the biceps. You're looking towards your navel and you're sort of pushing your chest towards your legs. Mm hmm So have a nice flat back, suck the belly in, point your tailbone towards the sky, thighs contracted, press your heels towards the mat. Now your heels may not touch the mat and that's fine. It may be for an anatomic reason. So myself, my bone structure makes it so I can't touch the ground there, okay? So it's all right if you can't either, it's not a problem. Each body is different. Now inhale, you can look front, you can step directly between your hands if you can do so, feet together, flat back, exhale, hands on the ground, forehead to the knees. Inhale, let's stretch up, chest guiding the movement, arms all the way up, palms touching, exhale, bring the arms down in namaskara, and then to each side of the body. One more time, inhale, stretch the arms up, palms together, look up, Exhale, bend from the hips, stretch the arms out, back flat. Hands on the each side of the feet, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, this time if you can jump back, do so, into plank. Inhale here, exhale. You can stop halfway if you can. So this is Chaturanga. Notice that I'm making a 90 degree with my arms. Now inhale, push forward and up into an upward dog. So my knees are not touching the ground, my legs are completely extended, shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. And breathe through the nose. Try to see where you can find relaxation in this posture. Your, your lower body should feel really heavy and anchored and it's as though you're pushing your upper body backwards. So lower body heavy, upper body light, if I can say so this way. And harnessing the breath really. One last inhale. Exhale. And as you inhale, bend the knees, look forward. And if you can try to jump between the hands, make a flat back. Exhale, hands on each side of the feet. Forehead towards the knees. Inhale, chest up. Chest leading the movement, stretching the arms out to each side. Palms up, look up. Exhale, bring the hands down, namaskar. Arms to the side. Very good. Half moon. Okay, so we can stretch the body sideways. Make sure you keep the alignment here. So the body weight may be a little bit more in your heels for this one, just a little bit. So inhale, stretch the arms up. Interlace all 10 fingers, but release the index. Make sure that your, your um, arms are as close as possible to your ears without bringing your shoulders up. So shoulders down, okay? Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, bend to the right. So you want to keep your hips parallel and your shoulders parallel, as if you were bending between two walls. Open the chest, arms back, face relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, stretch up and exhale, go down a little bit more one last time. Now inhale, come back all the way up and exhale in the center. Now let's do the left. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bend to the left. Keep the shoulders down, palms together. Look straight ahead, hips parallel, belly in, chest up and back with the arms. 
Inhale, stretch up one last time. And as you exhale, try to bend to the left. Now inhale, come all the way up. And let's do a little back bend. This can be just a little bit, you guys, okay? So keep the weight in the heels, trust yourself, and just relax your head. You can either just look up or make your head relax completely back if that feels good for you. Take a deep inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, bend back. You should be able to breathe through the nose here. Stretching the arms back. And as you inhale, come all the way up. Very good. Exhale, bend from the hips. Keep the back straight. Keep the arms stretching forward. All the way down. And once you're down, just place the hands in front of your feet and relax the head. <clears throat> well, let's just bend the knees one by one here. You can do yes and no with the head if that feels good. And from here, we're going to move into Parahastasana. Okay, so for this variation, you can either just grab your shins, grab your ankles. If you feel like you're very flexible and you can already touch your belly onto your thighs, you can lift your heels and just scoop your heels from behind. Make sure your thumbs are included in the, in the grip. Try to bring your elbows as much as possible back from your shins. Now inhale, and as you exhale, start extending the legs. Now don't lose the contact between the hips and the thighs. And make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. And as you extend the legs, stretch the upper body downwards. So you're trying to like make like a sandwich shape, basically. And breathe. Take two nice deep inhales here. As you inhale, stretching the tailbone up, try to extend your legs. And as you exhale, letting the upper body Stretch downward without crisping or tensing the shoulders or the neck. Now to get out of the posture, you can just bend the knees, lift the heels, okay? Extend the arms forward. Keep the knees bent with the spine long. Inhale and come all the way up. Exhale, bring the arms down to the side. Very nice. Now let's move along with a classic sun salutation and we're just going to add some movements as we move through this flow. So this time keep your feet parallel like a capital letter H, no wider than your hips. Bring your arms to each side. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch the arms forward this time. Stretch them. Keep following your hands with your eyes all the way up. And as you exhale, do a slight back bend. So push the pelvis forward, chest up, keep the arms with the ears. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend from the hips. Keep the arms with the ears, back straight, otherwise bend the knees. Bring the hands down and forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, plant the hands. Bring the right foot back and right knee on the floor, top of the right foot on the floor. So it'll low lunge here. Inhale, just your shoulders, roll them up and backward and down. Very nice. So in this low lunge, we don't want to be with the upper body forward. We really want to bring the hips forward is actually what we're trying to do. Squaring the hips. So we're pushing through the pelvis forward. And we're also contracting the muscles, the inner thigh muscles, okay? And you should be feeling the stretch in your right quadricep right now. Arms to the side. Your left leg, the knee should always be aligned with the heel, okay? <clears throat> Stretching the fingers down. Now take a nice inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, you can just do a slight back bend, you can explore that. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring the hands forward on each side of the foot and bring the contact between your forehead and your knee. 
Now you should feel a little bit more compression here. But make sure you keep on breathing gently through the nose. Take a nice inhale here. Exhale. Very good. Now inhale, keep the fingers on the mat, but try to bring your chest up, opening the chest. As you exhale, bring all the fans on the floor, tuck your right toes, and let's bring the left foot back into downward facing dog. Very good. From here, bring your feet together. Inhale. Bring both of the knees on the mat into tabletop. Tops of the feet on the mat. Exhale, bring the chest down between the hands. Chin on the floor. Inhale, pull the body forward and up into a cobra. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, tuck the toes. And you can go back into downward facing dog or Tadasana like I'm doing with my feet together. Take an inhale, stretch the right leg back and up. Three-legged downward dog. Keep the hips squared. Keep both legs completely extended, thighs contracted, either flexing the foot that's in the air, the right foot, or pointing the toes, okay, as you prefer. And stay here for a couple seconds, exploring this posture. This should definitely accentuate the stretch in the back left leg. Make sure that while you're on three limbs and rather four, that you're not pulling your shoulders towards your ears. So always shoulders away from the ears, pushing the chest gently towards the mat, looking towards your navel. Inhale, stretch the right leg up one last time. And as you exhale, try to bring your right foot between the hands at the front of your mat. If this is difficult, no worries. It's a work in progress. Left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. And only with the shoulders, roll them up as you inhale. And exhale, bring them down. Okay, so once again, the front leg should never, the knee should never go beyond the ankle. And the hips here, we're pushing the hips forward. Belly button in, chest up, and the hands and the arms just stretching downward. We're feeling the nice stretch in the left quadriceps, in the psoas as well, which is a muscle that's kind of difficult to stretch, but in this position we're definitely solicitating it. And always breathing through the nose, you can just look straight ahead. Now take a nice deep inhale, stretch the arms forward and up. As you exhale, you can do a slight back bend, but pushing the hips forward always chest up, keeping the arms with the ears. Inhale, come all the way up. As you exhale, hands forward and forehead with the knee. Breathe normal here. We're massaging the thyroid gland, which regulates our humor, our emotion, our mood. Take a nice inhale, keeping the tips of the fingers on the mat. Just try to open the chest upward. And as you exhale, bring your left foot forward into a forward bend. Very good, you can just shake things out for a second. And once again, you can just bend the knees here while your feet are hip width. And now you can just grab your ankles from behind. Thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. Make sure your belly is touching your thigh. So bend your knees as much as you need to to get that contact. And once that contact is there, open the shoulders, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, start stretching the legs out, extending the legs. And as you exhale, stretching the upper body downward. Mm -hmm. So it's not so much that you're pulling with your shoulders, right? So it's like dissociating movement. So we're pulling with the hands, but the shoulders are nice and relaxed, okay? 
So the action is happening more in the hips and in the thighs, contracting them to extend the legs. And the upper body is more just relaxing itself. Okay. Shanti loves yoga. <laughs> okay, to get out of the posture, bend the knees, extend the arms forward, and then just come all the way up on an inhale, keeping the back straight. And exhale, you can just bring the arms to the side, take a small break. Okay, so let's do the other side. So exhale and lift the arms forward as you inhale, stretch them all the way up, look up, exhale, back bend, push the pelvis forward, chest up, inhale, come back to standing, exhale, bend from the hips, keep the arms with the ears, back straight, arms down, forehead to the knees. Inhale, back flat, shoulders up towards the ceiling. Exhale, plant the hands, this time left foot back, left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. Let's stretch the arms forward and up into this low lunge. And as you exhale, just come into position. So again, we're rolling the shoulder blades away from one another. So as if you can imagine that you're rotating your palms almost backwards, this will help you achieve the right rotation. Okay, so you're pointing your inner elbows almost backwards a little bit, okay? Pelvis forward, hips squared, pulling the inner thigh muscles in towards one another. The right knee is always on top of the right ankle. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, back bend, keeping the arms with the ears. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, left hand below the left shoulder. And inhale, lift the right arm up into a twist. So you're opening both shoulders, looking up towards your right thumb. Push your right hip backwards, left hip forward. Again, still contracting the inner thigh muscles here. Bend the left knee and see if you can grab your inner left foot with your right hand. And from here, you can just pull the heel towards the buttock. If you're able to do so, you can also flip your, your hand and, well, to basically hold the foot in ever, whichever position feels good for you. And then you can just open the chest even more upwards. So we're stretching the deeper stretch in the left thigh here. One last inhale. As you exhale, left foot down, tuck the left foot, left toes of the left foot, and just bring the right foot back into downward facing dog. You can bring the feet together now. And as you inhale, bring both of the knees on the mat, tops of the feet on the mat. And now exhale, bring the chest on the mat between the hands, chin on the floor. Tops of the feet are on the mat. Inhale, Just pull the body forward and up into a cobra. Shoulders and elbows clip towards the body and going towards the hips. Exhale, tuck the toes. And then once again, back into mountain pose. Take a nice inhale and stretch the left leg up. So three-legged downward dog on the other side. If you flex the foot for the right foot, you can also do the same for the left foot this time around. Just make sure that both of your legs are completely extended. Thighs contracted. Hips squared, so you don't want to open the hips. You're keeping the hips parallel to the mat. Shoulders away from the ears. Arms extended. Opening the chest. Breathing through the nose. Push, stretching and pressing all the fingers of, the, of each hand onto the mat. Inhale, stretch the left leg up one last time. And as you exhale, try to bring the left foot forward between the hands. Rest the right knee on the mat, top of the right foot on the mat. 
lift the arms forward and up as you inhale and as you exhale take position into your low lunge stretching the arms up chest up pelvis forward hips squared contracting the muscles between the thighs your inner thigh muscles your left knee does not go any further than your left ankle inhale stretch up exhale do a little back bend keeping the arms with the ears inhale come back up as you exhale now bring the right hand underneath your right shoulder and stretch the left arm upwards into a twist so really your chin you want to bring your chin towards your shoulder so that you're extending the cervical spine opening the right shoulder and from here if you want you can bend your knee if you know ooh, I have a little cut on my right knee so that hurt okay so let's bring the top of the right foot closer to our buttock and let's continue the twist so you're always listening to your body you shouldn't feel any pain a stretch yes but your indicator is your breath basically you should always be able to breathe through the nose and so gently you can release bring both hands on the mat tuck the right toes and then on an exhale bring the right foot forward into a forward bend and let's just grab the elbows here and release release the elbows bend the knees stretch the arms forward against that so that they're equal with your ears inhale and come back up to standing keeping the back straight and exhale again bring the arms down okay so let's do a little bit of thigh work <laughs> okay so let's bring the arms parallel to your shoulders wrists in line with your shoulders inhale here and as you exhale go into an imaginary chill so notice that I'm not sticking my bum out I'm keeping my hips underneath me okay and here the objective is to bring the shoulders back okay so go as low as you can trying to sit back up into that imaginary chair keeping your hips your knees and your ankles at the same distance stretch those arms forward look forward go down a little further and then on an inhale come all the way up second part come up onto your toes as high as you can as if you were a ballerina take a nice inhale and as you exhale go back down into the imaginary chair so you're keeping pushing your your heels forward belly in pelvis forward tucking the tailbone in going down back into that imaginary chair and we'll stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back up on the tips of the toes. Exhale, bring the hands, or sorry, the feet down. <laughs> Last part, come slightly on your toes and stick your knees together. Now leave them together. Inhale, and as you exhale, go down. Try to keep your back straight. All the way down. And until you have about an inch distance between your hips and your bum. Now you're trying to tip your, dip your knees forward. Keep the back straight. Very good, you guys. And on an inhale, let's come to standing, trying to keep the back as straight as possible. All the way on the tips of the toes. Exhale, heels down arms to the side wonderful <laughs> okay let's go to the center of the mat let's work our way into warrior three basically okay so feet together arms to the side 
Inhale, stretch the arms to the side, all the way up. You can, let's just interlace the fingers, okay, for this round, so you can see the different sensation, because it tends to be a little bit easier when you have all your, your 10 fingers interlaced. So let's just keep the palms together, thumbs crossed, arms against the ears, and just step your right foot forward. Now from here, point and lift the toes of the left foot. Look three feet in front of you on the ground and just pivot. So you're bringing your body downward, leg up into a capital T shape. Okay, great. Try to square the hips, stretch the leg back, stretch the arms forward, stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, step back with the left foot and then the right. Let's do the other side. So step three, step forward with your left foot. Lift and point the toes of the right foot. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, bend the upper body down. Right leg up. Mm -hmm. Into a capital T shape. Very nice, hips squared. Legs extended, making a capital T shape with the body. Keep the arms with the ears. Stretch forward, stretch back. Stretch, 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 stretch. Inhale, step back with the right foot, back with the left, and then bring the arms to the side. Very nice. <laughs> okay, let's turn to the long edges of our mat now. And just spread the feet, okay? About four feet distant. Make sure you turn the toes in and board a little bit to protect the knees. Contract the, tie, the thighs. We're gonna go into Prasarita Padotanasana. <laughs> okay, so stretch the arms to the side, arms parallel to the floor, shoulders down, pushing the hips forward, making sure your hips are always in line with your heels. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, bend from the hips. Look forward, keep the chest up, back straight. So go down as low as you can. If you feel like your back is rounding, just bend the knees, okay? And once you're down, you can place the hands below your shoulders if your knees are bent and just practice trying to extend the legs. If you feel like your legs can stay extended, and by the way, more weight in the toes, right? Because we wanna have our hips directly on top of our heels. And what I want you to do here is just start relaxing your upper body to see if you can bring the forehead or the crown of the head onto the mat. Breathing through the nose. Shanti's having a party in my ponytail right now. <laughs> I'm just breathing here. So the idea is to really contract the thighs to extend the legs. And again, the upper body, just let it relax downward, okay? With time, that flexibility will come where you can just naturally bring your head down. Okay. Come back out of the posture. Let's bring the arms parallel to the ground. Take a nice inhale, stretch up. The chest always leading the movement. Very good. So from here, let's explore warrior two. So pivot the right foot out 90 degrees. You can widen the stance just a little bit here and make sure that your heels are in one line or you can place your heel in the inner, in the, in the inside of your, of your left foot. Okay, You're, make sure your arches, the, the arches of your feet are, are lifted. So you actually have a little bit more weight in the outsides of your feet. Keep your thighs parallel. So we're really gonna be opening the hips like the pages of a book. So arms parallel to the ground. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, bend the right knee. Okay, so you never wanna have the knee beyond your ankle. So if that's the case, you need to take a wider stance. And what you want to do is you want to bring your right thigh as parallel as possible to the ground. Make sure you're pushing, pushing those hips inward. You don't want to have your bum sticking out backwards like so. Upper body straight and you're pushing your tailbone forward, down and forward. Left leg completely extended, arms parallel to the ground, shoulders relaxed and look towards your right hand and breathe normally. 
So again, you don't want to be forward like so. So you want to feel like somebody's pulling you backwards a little bit. Yeah? From here, we're going to go into triangle. Parshvakonasana. So if you need your block, that's when you can just grab the block. Mine is a little bit far. And place it in front of your foot. Okay, so from the warrior two, inhale, stretch the upper body up. And as you exhale, bring the right arm down in front of your right foot, either on the block or if you can go all the way down, it can be your fingers or your hands and your left arm all the way up. So from here, I'm pushing with my right hip inward and with my tricep, I'm pushing my knee to maintain the alignment between my uh, ankle and my right knee, but also opening the hips and the look up towards your left thumb. Trying to bring your chin to your left shoulder. Very good. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Exhale, extend the right leg. Let's do the other side. Pivot the right toes in, left toes out, both legs extended. And again, you don't want to have your hips squared here. So you're opening the hips. You can bring about five feet distance. Check your alignment. Arches of the feet lifted. Tailbone downward and forward. So you're pivoting the hips forward. Suck the belly button in. Arms parallel to the ground. Chest open. Inhale. And as you exhale, bend the left knee. Okay, so knee should never go beyond the ankle. Thigh parallel to the floor and you're opening both hips outward. So you really should be feeling it in the socket of your hips right now. And you're looking towards your left hand, shoulders down, right leg extended, pushing on the outward <coughs> part of your right foot. And from here, we're going to go into Parshva Konasana. So inhale, stretch the upper body upward. Exhale, bring the left hand in front of your left foot. Use the block if you did it on the other side and lift the right arm up. So you don't want to compress the cervical. So we tend to be like looking upward like this. So think about bringing your chin towards your shoulder so that you're extending the cervical spine. Again, I'm pushing my hips forward, but I'm also pushing against my tricep to keep the alignment between my knee and my ankle on my left leg. Okay. Now let's inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, extend the leg. And let's bring both arms in. Okay, you can bring the hands on the hips. And uh, let's go from here, let's go into uh, and to, uh, onto our mats from here to move into some deeper stretches. So frog, let's work on a posture that, it's, that is also challenging for me. So from here, and again, please feel free to always have a block handy. What I want you to do is keep the, you can open your feet like in a duck shape. <laughs> this is the only posture where you're gonna be allowed to do this. And then just, I want you to just start stretching your knees apart okay so we're working towards our uh the splits the side splits and from here i just want you to bring your chest forward so because we're going to be here for a few minutes so you can just put your chest onto the block if that feels good for you if this is enough if you feel like you can go all the way to the, to the ground you can always do that as well so just extending the arms forward. What you want to make sure is that you're keeping your hips directly on top of your knees in this posture. And let's take some breaths through the nose. And notice how maybe, so for myself, um, I feel like I can open a little bit more so slowly but surely we are opening. Okay, this is how I'm gonna be doing it. So yeah, you can always put your forearms on the mat. 
for this posture. So really giving it a deep stretch in the inner groin. So this sensation where you're feeling the stretch in this moment is very similar to in Warrior to the posture we were doing previously where you should be opening the hips in this way. So just one more minute here in this posture. This may be very intense for some of you. It is for me as well. So respect the limits and make sure that you can breathe through the nose while you're doing the posture. It's about doing the postures by respecting the breath that you can gain more depth and it's really just a process of patience and doing it diligently and practicing frequently. Okay, nice. So you can just bring the heels in to get out of the posture and use your hands to walk all the way back up. Excellent. Okay, and then you can just turn to whichever direction on your mat. And from here, we're gonna go into dolphin, so we're gonna be stretching our upper body. So make sure you keep your hips directly on top of your knees. And then gently start bringing the upper body to the ground. And as I've mentioned, your block is always handy. If you just wanna rest your chest on the block today and do the posture in a very passive way, you can always do that. Okay, and if not, you can just remove the block. What's important in this posture, in this baby dolphin, is you don't wanna have any pinching sensation in your shoulders. So you're rolling your shoulders out, away from one another. from here you can come onto your stomach onto your belly bring your hands just below your shoulders so we're just going to work on the cobra posture the one that we did in the sun salutations to begin with so your hands are directly below your shoulders feet hip width and contract the thighs so that the knees are lifting off of the ground. And we're just going to sort of peel our body up. So take a nice inhale and you're peeling the upper body. It's okay to look towards your chest to start. And you want you to stop when your pelvis, you feel like your pelvis is going to come up off of the floor. And from then you can just look up, roll the shoulders back and down so that your elbows and your shoulders are pointing towards your hips. As you inhale, chest up, exhale, shoulders and elbows down. You don't wanna bring the shoulders and the elbows outward, so you keep them clipped against the body. One last inhale up, exhale, come all the way down. Very good. Floor bow. Okay, so from this posture, from lying down in your stomach, Let's see if you can grab the tops of your feet. Make sure your thumbs are included in, the, in, the, in, the, in your hold. And we don't want our knees to be going apart here. So if you want, just try to keep them together to start with. You can bring your chin on the ground. And from here, just start pushing with your feet upward and lifting your chest up as well. 
shoulders relaxed away from the ears and you're just pushing upward let's stay here for a few more seconds one last deep inhale push up and exhale come all the way down feet on the ground arms to your side palms to the sky let's turn your head to the right And just gently turn your head to the other side. This is a really passive, nice way to stretch the neck. So for those of you who are doing this, that are used to doing more active sports, you might be thinking, I'm not getting as much out of this workout, you know? But um, breathing, just the work of the yoga, of the asana practice while breathing through the nose is an incredible way of expanding your pulmonary capacity and your cardio. So do not be deceived by the apparent slow moving. <laughs> Very good for your blood pressure, cardiovascular, And also moving slowly gives us the time to really observe what's happening on deeper levels within us, which I don't know of any other discipline or practice that allows us to do that in this way, such as the yoga. Okay. Slowly, slowly, let's turn on our backs. And let's move into Pavana Muktasana. So this is wind removing posture. Keep the left leg extended, bend the knee, interlace your 10 fingers and grab your knee just below um, your, your right knee, your shin below your knee, that's it. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring the knee, pull your knee in without lifting your bum. Make sure the left leg stays extended, left foot flexed. Press the shoulders into the mat or try to bring them towards the mat if they aren't touching and look towards your navel to stretch the spine so one day all of your spine will be touching the mat and breathe. So we're massaging the ascending colon here. And gently exhale, extend the right leg, and bend the left knee. Again, grabbing your shin just below your knee. Inhale once again, and as you exhale, bring the knee in. Just on the outside of your chest, keep the right leg extended, right foot flexed as if you were standing. Pull your shoulders towards the mat, look towards your navel. We're massaging the descending colon. Very good for those that have digestive, pro digestive problems. Women that, have, that struggle with uh, menstrual pain. Excellent posture for this. Okay, so then we just relax the left leg. And now let's bring both knees together. Give yourself a nice hug. Try to grab your elbows if you can. Keep your feet together. Notice if your feet are unequal. So try to bring the big toe knuckles together, grabbing your elbows, all of your back on the mat. And as you exhale, pull the knees in. And you're also pulling your uh, shoulders towards the mat. Looking towards your navel. 
pressing the, the hips and the tailbone onto the mat, trying to completely extend the spine. Now we're massaging the diaphragm, transverse colon. And let's release. Notice the blood flushing after we've released. Very beneficial. So we're compressing the body, compressing areas of the body, doing the asanas, and then when we release, there's like an extra flow of blood through that area of the body, which is kind of like cleansing and allowing us to regain mobility and um, the youth of our articulations. Okay, second last posture. So we're just gonna go into bridge pose. So make sure that you can touch the tips of your heels with your hands. Your feet should be parallel. Keep your feet parallel at the same width as your knees, as your hips. Bring your arms to your sides, palm of the hand facing down. Inhale. And as you exhale, start lifting the hips up as high as you can. Okay? And then you can use your elbows to first really bring almost like your trapeze muscles onto the mat. And from here, interlace your 10 fingers below the body, and then you're just pulling your fingers towards your heels. From this posture, you want to imagine that you're pushing your chest towards your chin, okay? So you're pushing with your heels to bring the hips up, to bring the chest towards your chin. And breathing. Hello, Shanti. Okay, so to get out of the posture, release the hands and make sure that you can lift the, the heels actually off of the ground and I want you to roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time. Okay, so final spine twist, everybody. Wrap your right knee over your left thigh and if you can bring your foot behind your calf, also do that. If you can't, it's not a problem at all. So I want you to just scoop your hips over to the right. Bring your arms in a T-shape, palms facing the ground. And as you exhale, bring, oops, my mic is in the way. Just bring your, all of your knees to the left side. And look towards the right. Keeping your shoulders on the mat in priority. Feeling the twist and the stretch. Gently inhale, bring the knees back up. Untwist the legs this time. Bring your hips a little bit to the left of your upper body. And this time, cross your left leg over your right, interlacing the feet if you can. And as you exhale, let the knees fall to the right. You're looking towards your left hand, relaxing. So maybe as we're moving to the end of the class, just notice when we're doing the postures is not so much, yes, how you do the posture is important, obviously the alignment, 
but how you're doing the posture in terms of your attitude towards the posture. Make sure you're being kind and gentle with yourself. On an inhale, you can just bring the knees back to center. Uncross the legs. And I want you to just push your body towards the upper part of your mat so that your trapeze muscles are as far away as possible from your, um, from your ears. And then just lift your, your, buttock, your hips off of the mat to make sure that your lower back is also touching the mat. Then bring your arms down to the side, palms facing up, and extend your legs as wide as you feel. And just close your eyes for Savasana. So arguably, Savasana is the most important posture of them all. Everything we've done during class has led, up, led us up to this moment. So I'd like to invite you to relax as much as possible. Let go. Let go completely. Take the time to thank yourself for having, for having given yourself time. My father used to always say, you are the most important person in your life. Be thankful and grateful that you've spent time doing something that's good for you, that allows you to recharge your battery. Before getting up, just gently move your fingers. If you can just, if you want to stretch out a little bit, you can do so. And um, gently, Roll over to your right side. And you can just press your hand onto the mat. Come back to standing. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoy the class. If you have any questions, any comments, please write. Press like if you like the video, if you like the class. And uh, we will see each other very soon with the more, more classes to come. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Namaste.